guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick and simple makeup tutorial for you and it's kind of one of those no makeup makeup looks. As always I'll have everything that I use linked down below. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Alright so first up I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color medium to light slash neutral. Now my skin tends to have a lot of redness when it is cold and even though it is spring it's still snowing. So I have a lot of redness in my skin and I want to cover up my dark circles underneath my eyes because I am tired. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put a little bit underneath my eyes in a triangle formation. A little bit on my chin, my forehead, and then running down my nose. And then I like to put this on my any problem areas. So any areas where I'm a little bit more red than usual or if I have a little blemish. So I like to put this also at the corners of my nose, the corners of my mouth. And then any little blemish that I have. So then I'm just going to buff that in using this Real Technique stipling brush. And I don't even know if this is like the right brush to use for uh, concealer. But I don't really like beauty blenders. And I guess it's better than using my finger, right? So once the concealer is blended in, I'm just going to go in my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm not going to bake uh, since I don't have like any crazy contouring or anything going on. I just want to set this so it doesn't crack through the day. So I'm just going to put that on wherever I put my concealer. Just a nice light layer of that. Now I'm going to take my bronzer. I'm using the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. I love this thing. It just makes me feel like I'm on vacation. As you can see, I hit pen on it. So I'm not going to be contouring, but I do want to hit the spots that I would normally contour in because that's the spots that you normally would get some sun in. So using a big bronzer brush, I'm just going to go in I want to just look more like I've been to the beach rather than contoured. Just to get a little bit of color on my face. And this look too, I've been doing pretty much every day for like the past two weeks. It's just easy, it's quick, and it's still a makeup look. And you want to bring that down your neck too, and on your chest if you're wearing a low shirt. These necklaces are getting in the way. And then I'm just going to take a little bit, go down the sides of my nose, and just get everywhere else. Now I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Parte. Got this for my birthday at Sephora, and I actually really like it. Oops. So I'm just using this Luxie Duo Fiber Powder Brush. And just hitting the tops of my cheekbones. And my apples on my cheeks. The best thing about this look is it's super easy and super fast. Like I'm no makeup artist here and I have no time so just bring a little life to my face. So now I'm taking the Fenty Beauty highlighter in the color Hustle Baby and I'm just going to be using another Luxie brush in a tapered highlighter. Looks like that. And that is just going to go on the tops of my cheekbones around up my eye just the high points of my face, then a little bit on my nose, and then down the bridge a little bit. Then I like to bring that on top of my lip too, and I'll probably go back over there since I put some color on my lip. But I'm really all about the highlighter lately. And then too, I like to put some of that on my collarbone, make those babies stand out. And if I am wearing like an open shoulder or like a tank top shirt, once it gets a little bit warmer, I like to put it on the tips of my shoulders as well. Alright, and now for eyes, I'm going to keep it super simple. I'm just going to take that same bronzer that I was using and just put some color on my lids. Just go in the crease, buff that in a bit, and on the lid a tad. Then, with the same highlighter, I'm just going to put a little of that on my eyes. In no particular spot, just make them shine a bit. But then I'm going to take a small brush and just brighten up my eyes a bit. Put that on the inner corners of my eyes. This just brightens your eyes a little bit. Opens it up. So it's a nice subtle touch. And then I'm also going to take the highlighter and just go underneath my brow bone. Now I don't fill in my brows, but I would assume you want to fill in your brows before you do this. Just kind of shape some of bit and brings a little bit more tension to the high points of your face. Now on a day where I have time, I put some eyeliner on. And this is the Stilla All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I use this in all my videos. I've used this for so many years. It is my absolute favorite. And I'm just going to put 
try to put a little line on my eye. Nothing too crazy with the eyeliner because I don't have too much eyeshadow on and I don't want it to look too harsh because we're doing kind of like a you no know, makeup makeup look. So I try my hardest to do a nice little line and I don't go all the way into my eye. I kind of bring it right to my lash line ends. Um, I'll try to do this on camera but this is always like the hardest part. Not too bad. I don't know if I got was in camera, but so just a little flick, nothing too crazy. Now I'm going to do the other one. So then uh, to mascara. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. Every time I curl my lashes, I'm afraid that like I'm going to open it and all my eyelashes are going to be gone. I don't know. It's a fear I have. Okay, then I'm going to be using the new Bad Gal Bang by Benefit Mascara. And I actually love this. It's like pretty like lightweight the brush on it is really bendy very lightweight and I like it it's been making my eyelashes look very very long so when I do my mascara I just kind of like start from the root of the lash and wiggle my way up but I like to focus most of it on the outer corner of my lashes so I feel like it makes my lashes look bigger and my eyes look bigger so that's what I do and then I'm just gonna put a little bit on my bottom lash as well and again just focusing more on that outer corner Okay, and now for lips, I'm using my favorite Fenty Beauty in the color Fenty Glow. Wait, it's not called Fenty Glow. It's called Gloss Bomb. I guess Fenty Glow. I don't know. I think it's one of my favorites too. This is a little mini one. I like to keep this with me in my purse when I travel and all that jazz. This is a nice natural color. It gives you a nice glow and a little sheen to your lips. And that, my friends, is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed down below so you don't miss my next video. See you later.